What up, everybody? It's your boy, Asian, and we're back. It's a Tuesday night, and yes, the Week 13 college football playoff rankings have been released. Yes, they have. And as you guys all know, I'm a big Michigan Wolverines fan, and I'm here to tell you that the top four teams stay the same going into the final week of the regular season. Georgia stays at one, continuing its dominance once again. At two, you got Ohio State, who continues to stay undefeated. Three, you got my Michigan Wolverines. Four, you got the TCU Horn Frogs. And now this last week of college football was a crazy one. And I mean a crazy chaotic weekend where all top four teams were in battles. Georgia had the biggest win at 10 points. It was nasty, sloppy. Ohio State went by 13, but that game was close throughout the game and going into the third quarter. And part of that fourth quarter where it got real tight, where Maryland got it within three, 33-30. Then my Michigan Wolverines struggled tremendously at home against the fighting Illini with the biggest question mark coming with the injury to my boy Blake Corum, a Heisman candidate in my opinion. And at four, TCU pulled off another amazing comeback, another win. They're 5-0 after trailing in the games this year. It's crazy. And at, and right on the outside, 5-6, and six, you got LSU and USC. LSU has two losses. USC had a, a crazy great game offensively against UCLA in the, in the Rose Bowl. But you know we're all here to talk about my Wolverines. And, yes, it was a terrible game going against fighting line. Now, it took Jim, Jake Moody to field goal with, with under 10 seconds left to get the score. 1970 to pull out a tough one. Now, Blake Corum, as we all know, got hurt late late in that second quarter, right before halftime, going for a run. It looked like he hit his knee, and his knee bent it back. Um, he was on the field for a while. Um, luckily, they said there's no structural damage. So my guess is he's going to play. I'm glad it's not an ACL or whatever injury, but he is going to be the biggest factor. I'm I'm going to say because we all know how hardball and company are that we will not know the extent of this injury coming into coming into the, the game on Saturday. Now the biggest I think factor in this game is the factor if Donovan Edwards, yes, or the go-to back will play. The fact is Don, Donovan is the X factor because he adds the ability to catch the ball out the backfield, and I know for a fact I feel like Ohio State does not have. Any guy on the defense who can cover him, especially linebackers, even a defensive end if they drop him coverage. Um, so we're going to see the status of him. He didn't play this game. We know Schoonmaker didn't play. Um, Eric Alls have been out all year. Um, but defensively, I got to give these guys credit. They did their thing. They they only got 17 points. I know Chase Brown had a big run late in that game. But Michigan's defense is playing phenomenal all year. But the key is, will they get some of these offensive guys back? Because they need these guys. And if they have Donovan and Blake, I give them a chance, especially if they're they're probably not going to be 100%. But if they give you the ability to be as good as they can be and make this game competitive, then they can beat Ohio State because they have the style to beat Ohio State. And it's going to be a tough one because it's in the – in the horseshoe down in Columbus, and Michigan hasn't won there since November November of twenty of two thousand. Yes, two thousand. I was super young. But with that being said, if everything comes together and the things line up well for them, they they have a shot. That's all I'm asking for is to get the shot. This is only the second time in this in this series that both teams are undefeated going into this game, and I couldn't ask for nothing more. 11-0, 11-0. Last time was in 06. You had Troy Smith versus Chad Heaney, and it was it was a barn burner. So hopefully we can come out on the other side of the, this one this time. And I'm I'm getting nervous. It's leading up to the game, and I'm getting nervous. All the trash talk, all the banter. I'm loving it. This is what we want. But in the weird year, we we already know it's coming to twelve teams. I think this would be the this would be the year where we're really looking at it. Wants to be twelve twelve teams because there's a lot of there will be a lot of subjectivity and a lot of argument going back and forth. Um. But I, I still even believe Michigan still has a shot to get into the CFB, even if they lose to Ohio State. Now, that all depends. It's a number of scenarios, a number of variety of reasons that could happen. But right now, we're going to focus on the big game. And right now, they sit at three. Two versus three. Couldn't ask for more. They control their own destiny. Let's see what's going to happen. Because like I said in my previous video, Iowa is right now the front runner to win the West. The West is terrible. We all know Michigan and Ohio State will dominate that team easy fashion. So... If they get in, get in the get in the tournament, they have just as good shot as anybody else to win a national championship. Georgia's been the most complete team all year, but they still even have their flaws offensively. I feel like Stetson Bennett, it's not that good, but they continue to stay undefeated and they continue to dominate in the SEC. So we'll see what happens. But I'm right now. I'm happy as like I said, we're st we're still at three where we we should be. Got to be better. The thing with Michigan and Ohio State is they both I feel like haven't hit their full potential this season. They both. 
Schedules haven't been the greatest. They haven't played consistently all year and turned it on. So we'll see if this rivalry brings out the best of these teams. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited for this game. I cannot wait. You already know what time it is. Go Blue. It's your boy Adrian. Do not forget to, to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, man. Follow your boys. Shout me out. I appreciate the love. Everybody who keeps coming back. Once again, it's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.